How good are you in telling a story? Do you like to script a story in a sequential way? Hi, my name is Ram and I'm your business analyst Pandit. In today's quick presentation, let us see a demo on how to design a sequence diagram. Well, a sequence diagram is also called as an interactive diagram, which explains the interaction between an actor and an application in a sequence of time. The diagram displays the sequence through connected events. The diagrams are designed by business analyst to showcase the interaction of objects in a sequence which will eventually help the developers to code the scenario at ease. In the interest of time, I have already designed a sequence diagram for a user story. Here I will be sharing you a real time business case and I will also explain you on how I have designed my sequence diagram. For the purpose of my demo, I have used draw.io. Draw.io is a free online design editor built on top of Google Drive and it enables designers to create human diagrams. I also assume that you might have an account with draw.io, else please create one. Else you may also use Microsoft PowerPoint, Word or Excel sheets which also has sequence diagrams for it. For the purpose of my demo, let us see a real-time business case. For the purpose of this demo, let us take a real-time business requirement. Our customer has given us a requirement to check if the system can provide a discount for a product opted by user. Our customer is expecting that after a successful login, user should choose a product. The product should get displayed based on the correct zip code provided by the user. The user should select a product and the system should tell the user if the product has a discount. For the above requirement, I managed to write one user story. So the user story says, as a user, I want to choose a product so that I can get a discount. Now writing a user story is easy, but we need to also write the acceptance criteria for the user story. So let me read out the acceptance criteria for the above user story. Considering that I am on the product catalog page, I should provide a valid zip code. The valid zip code should be an integer. The valid zip code should be a six digit number. The system should not accept string values. The system should not accept zip code with less than or more than six numbers. So these are all the conditions for the first acceptance criteria. The second acceptance criteria is considering that I am on the product catalog page. If my zip code is valid, I should get the product available for the verified zip code. Considering that I am on the product catalog page, I should be able to see the product discount if I choose the product. The last acceptance criteria is considering that I am on the product catalog page. If I see the product, if the product has a discount, I should get a message discount applied. Now coming back to the sequence diagram, here the actor is represented by a stick image and the object or the system is represented by a triangular box. Here the actor and all other objects are arranged in a sequential order from left to right. These objects can be dragged and dropped from the display pane into the chart. Here again each and every object has its own vertical line and this line is also called as the lifeline or timeline with which all the objects shares its existence. Here the arrow that connects uh, one object to another is called as the interaction. Here, each and every object interacts with such arrows and when a, a object returns a message to another object, it is called as the return value or return message which is always described in the dashed arrow mark. Now if you remember the requirement, the requirement says after successful login. So in this case, we assume that the user has already logged into his profile page. Now he is in the product catalog page where the user would be entering his zip code. So once after the user logs in and provides the zip code, the product catalog takes the user to the server where the server validates the zip code. Once after the verification is done, the server takes this information back to the CRM where the CRM takes the zip code into consideration and for that particular zip code, it throws the list of products which is available for the user. Now from the displayed products, the user clicks on one of the products and checks to see if the particular product has a discount. So the product catalog then sends a message 
directly to the CRM since CRM has all the information about a product it checks if the particular product has a discount if it has a discount it then shares a message to the user stating that the discount has been applied for the particular product the purpose of this presentation is to give you an idea of how to design a simple sequence diagram I request you to please subscribe to my channel for more videos and podcasts like this.